Okay, so it's been a while, but um, some stuff has happened. So I guess it's time for another story time. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Like I said, it's been a while, but some stuff has actually happened. So it's time for a story time. I'm going to go ahead. Let me set this up for you. Um, and I think my title, I don't know exactly what the title is going to be, but it's going to be something centered around the fact of when I tell you no, that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like you. It's just when I say, or that I'm mad at you. It's just when I say no, it's just no. And it could actually be just for that period of time. It could be no today and it may be yes tomorrow. But when I say no, it doesn't always mean that I'm like mad with you or anything. So just crazy. Um, this, this is the whole thing. This is how this all jumped off. It's very strange to me how, first of all, people get into a, a thing of, again, I always tell you all that I, in my, my, my life, I believe that I'm a nice person. I do. I believe that I'm a fairly nice person, very, very easy to get along with, but I can be a bit of a bitch if you get on the wrong side of me. Now, the thing is, it never ceases to amaze me that as soon as I don't do something that somebody wants me to do, that I am the worst person in the world. I'm hard to get along with. I'm petty. You know, all these things whenever I don't do exactly what it is that you want me to do. And it just amazes me, especially when you're not dealing with young people or you're not dealing with children. If I was dealing with my kids, that's something different. Because in my, in my kids' eyes, Yes, when I'm not doing what they want me to do, then yes, he's mean and he's just, he just, he just, you know, but that's kids. But grown ass adults, really? Grow up, now that's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going all around that to say this. Let me set this up for you. So there's this broad, okay? She's not a friend, flat out. She not my friend, bitch not my friend, okay? I, I go to play lottery at this store all the time. She's always at this store. I don't even know her name, okay? This is how important she is in my life and the things that I have to do and the things that I have going on. Don't even know a bitch's name, okay? She told it to me, but I couldn't tell you what it is because it just... All right, girl. But I see her. She talks and... Not even my type of people. Like, we would never hang out. You're not, I would never invite you up in here. Never. Not, pfft. you wouldn't get nowhere up in here. You wouldn't get to the fence. I'd stop you at the fence. That's about where we are. Hey, girl. Don't touch my gate. That's what it would be given. So, I see her all the time. I go play lottery or whatever at a little local store. And, um, this all really started back last summer, last summer, right around June, June, July. And I would see her all the time and everything. Well, I've been seeing her you know, for probably a year, but she started talking. And it was always, you know, you're cute and, and, and all this little stuff. And I'm like, okay, you know, that shit just was like, all right. And truth be told, when I looked at her, Annie, I thought she was a bull dagger, but uh, okay, whatever. And again, that's that petty part. That's that judging people and you don't really know. I, was like, I don't know. I don't know. But just like I always took for granted that when she looked at me, she thought I was a sissy. And I looked at her, I thought she was a bull dagger. But obviously she didn't get that. She throw these little flirts and, and you're cute and, and all this. And I'm like, 
Yeah, I guess on any given day to somebody I am cute. There's a sector of people that I'm cute to. There's a sector of people that I'm not cute to. But that's fine and that's fair. But I don't want none of what you got to give out. Whether you're a bull dagger or a straight female or whatever. Overall, you're female and I can't help you in that area. Period. That's it. I don't want to be your friend. None of that. You just cool. Hey, how are you? Nice. You know, hey, how good to see you. That's what it gives. So she had asked me the one day if I could give her a lift because she noticed that I drive. Can I give you a lift up close to get her closer to where she's going? And it was a nice day outside. I said, okay, no problem. And I just did it. Wasn't a big deal. I wasn't even going that direction. And where I gave her a lift to, I don't frequent that little section. I don't. I don't even go up there. Like, I have no reason to even go up that way. But I was just being nice, Mr. Fucking Nice Guy. And again, I always hear that. No good deed goes without punishment. And people say that shit for a reason. So I said, okay. So then I start noticing, it was like every time I would run into her, then you think I'm going to give you a ride. And I was like, I I'm thinking to myself in the back of my head, one day she's going to get me when I'm not in the mood. She ain't going to like me very much. But I'm just thinking that because this, these things have happened to me. And I'm like, you know, you always say, everybody ain't like that. And don't judge everybody by what somebody else did. So I'm being on my grown man shit. And I'm like, okay, sure enough, sure enough. It ends up happening like one day, like we even got through summertime. It's maybe... The beginning of October now. And she asked me one day if I would take her and give her a lift. And I said, I'm actually busy right now. I have an appointment. I actually, I did. I had a doctor's appointment that day. I was on my way to the doctor's. So I have a doctor's appointment and I, I can't do it right now. I don't even need to give you all that. But I gave her all that. I have a doctor's appointment. And I could tell she had like a little attitude. She walked off. And, I, and and again, the way that she did the attitude and walked off, you know, I was settled that she was a little bulldogger at that point. <laughs> but what, you know, whatever. She stomped off, she stomped off at him. It's like, oh, dig her. Okay, no mind. So that kind of set the trend because that didn't sit well with me. So about two days later, I ran into her again. And she's, can you give me a ride? And that's how she asked me, can you give me a ride today? Nope. And that's exactly what I gave. Nope. I ain't give you no explanation. I ain't go into it because I don't owe you nothing. And I don't even like your energy. Nope. And she's like, oh, all right. And she stomped off again. I said, child, look at him, honey. Go ahead. Whatever. I go on by my business. Did I notice? She just flat out stopped speaking. I see her. She don't even acknowledge. She don't even speak. I was like, oh, fine, no problem. Because I don't care about you. You're not my friends. I don't give a shit. So it's no problem. But then I'm saying to myself, yet again, you've been proven right. People are always in to try to see what they get, what they can get from you. What is it that you're that's that's always like I have. I've had my friends, like I've had friends. And a lot of my friends have been, you know, my close friends are really all dead. Like all my close friends for the most part are gone. Like they're gone from one thing or another, age or, you know, something medical. A lot of my close friends are gone. I have my brother, Chet. And when it comes down to friends, I don't be really looking for to be trying to make new friends like that, like new close friends. And then there's, that's where the old YouTube part comes in. Um, it comes in real good with me because I could just turn it on and I got all of these people who dig me and I dig them and we dig each other 
on a certain level and there ain't none of that shit. I ain't got to learn their flaws. I ain't got to do. Well, I mean, I do learn some of the flaws. You know what I mean? We kick that. We have a friendship, but it's a different type of friendship that we kick back and forth. We agree. We disagree. We agree to disagree. Sometimes some of them fall all the way out and hate me. It's like a whole nother world, but it, it's, it's just different. I can control it a little bit better. OK, I don't I don't get hurt or entwined as much as with real world stuff, because, see, when the YouTube part come, I can block you. I can turn it off when it comes to shit like this in the street. See, then I end up seeing you. I got this other part of me that y'all don't get to see. It's the part of me that, you know, that windmilling part. I tell you about that all the time. Hashtag windmilling. See, that sits. It lies within me, and it's not really dormant. When you play with me, when you play with me, and then I got to look you in your face, that's when it becomes a problem. Because you'll push me to a point where, I, you know, I, I'm, when I run out of words, which is pretty hard, because I like words, and I like to talk, and I, and, I, and I like to communicate. But when I run out of words, I'm pretty much all action, and I will get out there in that street, and I will windmill your ass. So I don't have all that when it comes to YouTube. Try I could do a video, cuss your ass out, or shade you, and go on about my business, and it's it just it's safe. It's safe, okay? Um, well, some of this other shit, people try not to make it safe, but for me, it's safe because you don't want to play that game with me. It's safe. So anyway. I like I noticed that she wasn't speaking, and I was fine with that. And I just let it go; it ain't no big deal. So, two days ago, I'm up playing my lottery, put down a number or two, and I'm coming out, and it's cold as the fucking Dickens. Trust me, the hawk had the damn wings spread real wide, and here come a little walking little bull dagger at him. No, she got she won't talk today. And I just laughed. Because, like, are you kidding? And I'm on the phone. It's so deep that you want to talk today. I'm literally on the phone, got the phone in my ear, talking, talking. She rolls right up on me. Are you still mad at me? And, and she's all all that. Are you still mad at me? And I was like, excuse me? Let me call you back. And the person I was talking to on the phone was like, oh, shit. And I was like, yes, yeah, really giving that. You could just hear it in my voice because they know me. And I was like, what are you talking about? Well, you know, you was mad at me. When, when was I mad at you, honey? See, now this is the fun part. This is that old petty ass goddamn Capricorn piece. Because you know there's a piece of Capricorn that's real, real petty. All the Capricorns have it. They don't all admit to having it. But there's that piece of a Capricorn that's real petty. And we live. We live in that. When was I mad at you, honey? And what was I mad at you for? Well, you know, I had asked you to give me a ride, and then you told me that you was that you were, and, and then the next time I asked you, you wouldn't ride me again. I said, "Yeah, I remember all that. That's been months and months and months ago, all before Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that, before Halloween. I remember all that. And where in that did you gather that I was mad at you?" Well, because you wouldn't ride me. I said, okay. Now, this this is where it gets interesting. Do I owe you a ride? I'm not a jetty driver. I work for Uber. See that car over there? That car don't have any stickers of any type in it. No type of stickers. Nothing. It don't say enterprise. It don't say whatever. Any. I don't even know what the, the rental places are. It don't have none of that in the windows. It don't. 
say Uber, it don't say Lyft, it don't say anything that would lead you to believe that I am a car service. So what is it that we're talking about really? You are somebody I don't know. I'm not your friend. I've never been your friend, nor was I interested in being your friend. I've been nice and cordial to you as I am with everyone who I encounter when I walk out of my front door every day. That's what I gave you. And I was a little nicer because a few times it was really hot out and I gave you a ride. But somewhere in there, you felt as though I owed you the ride. Well, well, well. And I'm I'm sitting there and she has nothing to say because I'm literally hitting this shit on the money. And it's amazing to me, where does that come from? Where did you, where the fuck do they make people like that? Like, where do you get that? Like, I don't understand. I literally don't understand how you process that in your crazy rabbit ass mind that I'm obligated to ride you somewhere. Like I just, I, I couldn't get it. And she's like, oh, okay. I said, so for the record, scratch all of this. I don't know you enough to be sitting around mad at you. Don't care nothing about you enough to literally be walking around mad at you. I don't even know your name. I told you my name. Yes, you did, months ago. And the day after you told me, I didn't remember it. Because you're not, you not, you don't make my world turn. It's not, we're not friends. So no, baby, I was never mad at you. Said, now, were you really fucked up with me? When you literally walked around and called yourself not speaking to me. Like, that told me a lot about you. Whereas we weren't friends, we would never be friends. Because you don't even qualify. I don't mess with people like that. I ain't done nothing to you. You walk around mad at me. I, I got people that hate on me every day. I know you don't know what I do. But I got people in what I do daily who hate my guts. Who don't know me from Adam's house cat. Do you think I need to literally go around and find more people to be like that? Who don't know me and run around mad at me for reasons that have nothing to do with me that I know nothing about. But yeah, I got time for that. She's like, okay, well, I'm just glad that you're not mad at me, sexy. You know, this, that, and the other. I said, uh-huh. But see, this is the part about me that she don't even realize. Do you know you realize, well, those of you who kind of do, who, who've been with me for a while, you kind of know me, and I'm that friend in your head, as y'all say, you all realize that like day two, when I seen her months and months and months ago in October and you walked by and you didn't speak to me and you gave me the cold shoulder, you do realize that at that point that I didn't like her anymore, right? I wasn't mad at you, but I don't like you and I don't fuck with you no more. So I just laughed. She said, I'm glad you ain't mad at me no more, sexy. And then she led right into, can you give me a lift up? And this is exactly what I did. I can't. No explanation. Don't give a fuck how you feel. Done with it. Done with it. The fact that you thought you had balls enough, little bull dagger, to stand in my face and tell me about how you was basically mad, but then you just threw it off on me. You passed it on over to me that I was mad at you. No, bitch. You were mad at me because the free jitney driver didn't give you a ride. Girl, if you don't get your fucking little dyke ass out of my face and get on. I said, oh, these people. And I was done with it. And she went on off and she had an attitude. She stomped on away. She had an attitude. I said, I guess she'll be back to not speaking. But baby, it was cold as the dickens. And so I said, you don't even have any type of you don't even have enough self-esteem to stay mad. If you mad, bitch, be mad. You know, I can respect a bitch that's standing her shit. You feel me mad, bitch, be mad. Stand up and tell me I ain't shit. I like a bitch like that. But I don't like no bitch that's mad when the weather's good. 
And when the weather ain't ain't good, then you got to kiss my ass. I don't like my ass kissed like that. I like my ass kissed four seasons. I don't want it kissed on the bad weather days. Ridiculous. Anyway, I just it just that just tripped me out. I don't know. Y'all could go on down there in them comments and y'all could tell me how y'all feel if that's a that's a, a character flaw. No, you're not a good person, James. Whatever, whatever you want to say, you know I could take it. I love it all, honey. I love it all. Cause I'm me. And I'm gonna continue to be me. I've been me for a long time. I'm gonna continue to be me. And when dumb shit and this was dumb shit, dumb shit happens, then I turn my camera on. Then we have story time. Anyway, I'm out of here. I don't talk long enough about the strange dyke with the strange attitude problem. <laughs> don't even know the broad's name. Anyway, oh God, honey. And don't don't get your panties in a bunch. I have pretty pl I have plenty of friends who are lesbian who are bull daggers, who are studs and lipstick girls and, and, and closet girls and just regular cisgender. I know y'all hate that one too. Cisgender females who have a tendency to, from time to time, I got all them kind of friends and I love them all, honey. But that little bull dagger. Anyway, so be offended if you want to be offended. But if it if I threw a stone that hit you that wasn't for you, you know it wasn't for you, child. But whatever, you can take it if you want. If you simple like her and the stone hits you, then so be it that I was aiming. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done messing with y'all. I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>